Can we sing one song? <laughs> Sister Pat, come sing. a Christian is not about always me, me, me. It's, it's about others. And I, I thank God this song touched my heart because we got to look at other people and pray for other people. Somebody out there is hurt and confused. An innocent child being abused. There's somebody out there whose heart breaking in two well, there's somebody out there feeling alone husband or wife being done wrong there's somebody out there shattered by a broken home but there's somebody out there with his arms open wide he wants to you wipe those tears from your eyes he is hope for the hopeless he will carry the burden you bear when you don't have a prayer remember Jesus is there there's somebody out there thought it was cool to keep taking chances thinking they'd never lose they're hooked on a feeling that's left them empty and full but there's somebody out there with his arms open wide oh he wants to embrace you wipe those tears from your eyes he is hope for the hopeless he will carry the burden you when you don't have a prayer, remember Jesus is there. There's somebody out there right now, right now. You know what they tell me, Brother Butch? It's hard for me to sing a song all the way through because usually if I learn a song, it ministers to me. So I'm saying there's somebody out there can't quite decide whether to live or whether to die or oh, they're searching for answers to get through the crisis in life but there's somebody out there with his arms open wide he wants to embrace you wipe those tears from your eyes he is hope for the hopeless he will carry the burden you when you don't have a prayer remember Jesus is there you know I'm thankful I am thankful for what God has done for me he's been real down through the years and he has done exactly what he promised he'd do yeah. he's never failed me and I thank him. Amen. You know, I was reading in Psalms where it says to make mention of the name of the Lord in the congregation. You know, I can worship the Lord in my kitchen. I can praise him in my living room. But he tells us to come to church for a reason. And that is to worship him and praise him yes. in the congregation. And you know, I think when there's unity, there is power. And when we come together and begin to worship and praise the Lord, I believe there's a sweet aroma that goes up before the Lord, before his presence. And 
I love it that we're living in the New Testament times where we can make a sweet smell Amen. to our Lord. Amen. My mother was an Italian, and she would fix that spaghetti, and we would love to go to her house on Sunday. And before I ever walked through the door, I could smell that would come through my under my nose, and I would be excited about eating at the table. And today, he has told us, come and dine. Come and dine. You can have all. You know what? That would be just the thing that I love to hear. I love to eat. And tell me I can go to a buffet and eat all I want. You can come and dine at the master's table. And you can eat all you want. I love it, brother, that you said the word has preeminence in this place. Because I love the word. I love what Brother Butch preached last night. It gives me courage. It gives me strength. And you know what? The Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Don't go get your barbells and go one, two, one, two. And expect to be able to fight with the devil. You listen to the word. And then you'll be able to to hold your own with the devil. The joy of the Lord. And I thank God for the word of God. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, hallelujah, hallelujah I'm in this church, uh, this glorious church uh, I didn't join, I was born uh, And because I joined, because I was born uh, I'm on the rock, and because I'm on the rock uh, The gates of hell cannot, cannot Somebody say amen Cannot prevail uh, against me I'm on the rock uh, Man's got a church, brother Spurl uh, But God's got a church God's got a church that's built on the rock that the gates of hell cannot prevail again. God's got a church, amen, ordained from the foundation of the world. Blood bought, Holy Ghost filled, sealed to the day of redemption. Anointed, appointed, sent by God, and walking by faith and not by sight, filled with the divine nature, created in the image of the first son. Somebody say amen. I don't know what you come to do. I come to glorify him. He already died. He already shed his blood. He already arose victorious. He already went to hell. He already stripped the devil. He already spoiled principalities and powers. Somebody say amen. He visited the Gentile people yeah. to take out of them a bride. A bride, a bride for his name's sake. A bride to be bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh. A bride to be one with him. To sit down in the throne with him. To have power and authority to rule. To be crowned with the crown of righteousness. To be joined to him. She birth out of his side. She's bone of his bone. Ah, can you help me here? Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And the Bible says, husbands, love your wives. How much? As Christ loved the church. How much did he love them? Gave himself for it. Why? Why did he die for you? Why did he die for the church? That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Somebody say amen. Why did he wash it? Why did he die for it? Why did he wash it? That he might present it to himself. A glorious church. Not having spot, wrinkle, or any such thing. My, my, but it should be holy and without blemish. He said, I come, I come to get a bride. I bought me a bride. I come after a bride. He said Solomon took it up and he said Solomon said this in the love book. He said I am my beloved's and his desire is towards me. He wants me. He wants you. His desire is for relationship. This ain't about religion. This ain't about tradition. This ain't about rules and regulations. This is about a love affair. Amen. Oh, you know what worship is? Worship is making love. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just warming up. Hallelujah. 
There's the outer court. Wow. Holy place. Wow. Holy of holy. Yeah. There's Thanksgiving. The drunk does that. Right. Huh? All right. All right. Yes, sir. The drunk will thank the Lord when he gets enough to buy another bottle. Huh? Anybody can thank him. Then there's praise. Huh? Praise. Then there's praise. Thanks. Given praise and worship. See, worship is love making. Huh? Worship. And when, you know what? Worship, hallelujah, is when there's a wooing and a drawing. Worship is when they call. He said, come in to my very presence. Now, in worship, you know what happens? Hallelujah. They take some incense and they take some fire. Amen. Somebody say amen. They take the fire off the brazen altar. You know the brazen altar? Your testimony's got to be founded on the brazen altar where the blood is shed. You've got to be excited for about the blood. Am I preaching now? Your testimony should be founded on the blood. You take the fire off the brazen altar and you take some incense in your hands and you pour the incense on the fire and it creates a glory cloud. If you ain't got no fire, if you ain't got no fire, there's no glory. There's no glory. Your incense will fall to the ground. But if you burn it, if your testimony is burning, if your song is burning, if your worship is burning, you're lost in the presence of an almighty God. Now you can see him and you can hear him, Larry, but the glory is being joined to him. Being one with, look here. Y'all grown ups, ain't you? Hallelujah. When the marriage ceremony takes place, they go before an assembly. Huh? And then they have a, a representative of God in the state. And I told you, my daddy said, I, I done took you some candy, honey. I done bought you some flowers, honey. Huh? And now, if you want my name, <laughs> I thank God for your gift, but I want to know if you got his name. <laughs> I thank God for your talent, but the power is in the name. <laughs> oh, thank God because you can preach, but I, I, do you know his name? If you got his name, he, she, uh, my daddy said, if you want my name now, hallelujah, it ain't about flowers and it ain't about candy. It's about power. Amen. It's about power. He said, you got to leave your mama. Amen. You got to leave your daddy. If you want my name, you got to go where I go. Somebody say amen. amen. Then they, you know, people will say, you be that Sunday? Well, I don't, I, I'm, I'm afraid to promise you. What? Come on, come on, amen. He said, if you want my name, you, you're going to promise me. You're going to promise me you'll be faithful. You're going to promise me you'll be there. If you want my name, you got to make me some promises. Hey! You, you want my name, you got to make me some promises. She said, I promise you, honey. I love you. I love you in the wintertime and the summertime. I love you if you have to drive up a road like that out there. <laughs> huh? I seen a marriage one time and they started taking the vows and she said, Well, I ain't gonna do all that. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> you gonna be faithful? <laughs> uh, oh, glory to God. Praise the Lord. What what about when the going gets hard? Going, he said, if you want my name, you gotta love me. For better, it ain't gonna all be better, is it? Mm. 
Sometimes you're going to be hurting. Sometimes you're going to run out of money. Sometimes you're going to be in pain. Sometimes you're going to get offended. Am I preaching now? Sometimes you, you're going to get your feelings hurting. I ain't going tonight. Nobody don't love me. What? Jesus died for you. Jesus died for you. You ain't married to the pastor. You're married to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all didn't hear me. Y'all ain't married to the pastor. You're faithful to Jesus. He said, I come to get a bride for me, not for your pastor. But if you love me, you'll be faithful to the pastor. Now, can I be plain? Go ahead. Go ahead. They swear in front of everybody. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and, and the, the, the officer, he writes it down. Uh-huh. And he records it. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> so, time, oh, oh, hey, you forgot. You, you swore. <laughs> Y'all didn't hear that. Oh, you got to feeling good and made some promises. You got the feeling good. I'll be there, Pastor. Yeah, you can count on me. Uh, but as time went on, watch out, it's recorded. Watch out, watch out. Now, here's the good part for you adults. After they swear their allegiance, he says, uh, You can kiss the bride. Oh, I know. I told y'all about this. We're going to go a little further. Huh? And Solomon said, I got all this stuff, but I ain't happy. I got gold and silver, men servant, maid servants. I got a zoo and I got a garden. I got all that stuff. He said, let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth. He said, see, you can't be one with him till you embrace him and he is poured into you. You can't be one with him till everything between you and God is Huh? Oh yeah, but I gotta cook the old man's supper. Come on. Come on. Come on. I, I gotta clean house before I go anywhere. You fool around, you're gonna be going where you don't wanna go. Yeah. Somebody say amen. Yeah. And then they go, oh let me preach. And then they go to a secret place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo. See, now he said, now, you didn't choose me. You ought to dance on that. I chose you. But do you know why I chose you? I chose you to to have fruit. Herein is your father glorified that you bear much fruit. If you don't have fruit, I don't need you. Now, I ain't too smart. But the only way you have fruit is with relationship. No secret place. <laughs> Woo, y- y'all, y'all old people, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> y- y'all be friends, y'all be buddies. <laughs> Hallelujah, y'all be best friends and be buddies. <laughs> Won't be no fruit. Oh, but when you become one, here they come, honey. One after another, here they come. Oh, you can't hide it if you've been with him. You can't hide it if you've been with him. You can't hide it when you've been with him. I preach it. they come they're growing you know <laughs> in the waistline they're growing <laughs> can't hide it can you learn can't hide it hallelujah can't hide it when you've been with Jesus you can't you can't now, ain't that some people come say I've been in a 30 day fast huh? and you look like a prune or something <laughs> You've been in a 30 day fast, ask Moses. Come on. Huh? He come off the mountain. Huh? Yeah. Woo, Lord. Yeah. 
He didn't say, guess where I've been, did he? <laughs> He said, Lord, look at here. Lord, have mercy. The glory, the glory, the glory. When you've been with him, the glory will radiate out of you. In the midst of the darkness, the sun will shine through your life. Y'all all right? Amen. Tell me when my time's up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, oh, glory. We'll get that later. Now watch. My sister and I were talking about how many churches we passed coming down here. Yeah. Lord, looks like y'all go to one of them. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, can you? Can't do it, can you? Ooh, can't do it. <laughs> now, this church says they got it. We're the, we're, the, we're the ones. Somebody come and invited some of our members over to their church and said, we're the only church here going to heaven. Y'all are all going to hell. How, how you know? How you going to know which one's right? Huh? They got good singers like you got good singers. They, they got good keyboard players like you got good. Huh? Now, I don't know if their preachers are good as yours. <laughs> but they got preachers. Let's find out how you can tell the real. Now, we're talking about marriage now. We're talking about covenant relationship. Now, see, it, this is a danger here. You want his hand and not his heart. See, you just want what he's got. But if you get his name, you get him. <laughs> oh, Lord. oh, Lord, have mercy. Praise God. Now watch. We're going to find out how you know the real. Huh? How many know there's a people that have a form? Yes. They got a form of godliness. They just ain't got no power. Ah, uh, my, 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 it's about power. Our young people, Brother Dave, they need the power. We got some people that's captive. We need some power. Hey, devil don't care if you feel good. He don't want you casting no devils out, though. He don't care if you dance. <laughs> don't open no prison doors. Hey, sir, am I preaching or what? All right, amen. We get on this. Hallelujah. Now, we're going to find out. I would ask you if you got the real, but I, 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 let's find out. <laughs> there are three score queens and four score concubines. See? And virgins without number. A lot of good people, buddy. Uh -huh. huh? a, a, a lot of queen churches. A lot of concubine churches, are, they're feeding the poor. they sending missionaries out. they got drug programs and rehabilitation programs. Amen. The Bible said there's a lot of queens and concubines that are associated with religion. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. And a lot of good people. Amen. Oh, I know you said there's nothing good but God, but the Bible says right here, there's a, there's a lot of virgins. I think virgins, that's pretty good, especially in this day. Amen. Thank you. I'm glad y'all ain't bashful. But now watch what God says. But my dove, he's talking to me, honey. <laughs> you hear what he just called me? It is dove, honey. <laughs> See, when you have that intimate relationship, you got them pet names, you know. <laughs> See, nobody else don't know about that. I know about that name. <laughs> Lord. We have them church, ain't we, Larry? Huh? Look here. He said, my, my undefiled. Somebody say, that's me. That's me. He is but one. I, I just got one love. <laughs> Ooh, he said, I just got one love. I just got one bride. I know there's a lot of concubines. and I know there's a lot of queens. Oh, I just got one bride. 
I just got one bride. I just got one people. I just got one virgin. Now, y'all might have to get me another shirt out. I don't know if I can take it or not. I'm about to be glorified right in front of you. Look here. She is the only one. She's the only one. She's the only one. As they say in Jolo, she's the onlyest one. Can I go a little farther? But I still want to know how you tell. Somebody say amen. amen. This is her that looketh forth as the morning. Oh, you know what he's saying? He said, she's like the sun. Huh? You don't have to pray for the sun to come up. <laughs> you don't have to stay up all night waiting and watching to see if it's going to come up. My bride, she's faithful. Yeah. If it's snowing, she comes up. If it's raining, it comes up. If there's a flash flood, she comes up. She's faithful. She's on time. She's consistent. She's persistent. She's devoted. She's dedicated. You can depend on her. I don't care how much darkness there is. She's coming up. She's coming up. If everybody fails, she's coming up. If everybody quits, She's coming up. Now we got a church. That other church, you have to have a certain kind of song. That other church, you got to pay a choir to come in. That other church, you got to get an evangelist out of North Carolina. But this bride, if they're singing, there ain't no singing. If they're playing, there ain't no playing. She's coming out of there. She's coming out of there. Because she moves by faith and not by feeling. She has a revelation and a relationship. Because he lives, she lives. Stand up. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Holy, 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 holy. Y'all excited I am. <laughs> Because God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Did he ever do a miracle? Yes. Did he? Yes. Well, is he the same yesterday? Yes. What about today? Yes. He's the same today? Yes. Y'all sure he's the same? Yes. That means you can have a miracle because he's the same. You believe in Jesus, you believe in miracles. You believe in Jesus, uh, you believe in the impossible in the name of Jesus. Thank you for this miracle in Jesus. Uh, that's how easy it is. Go ahead, praise him. Go ahead, praise him. Now in man's church, they'll say, turn to number 364. 
our organist that just went through seminary. And we want y'all, after the second stanza, we want you to clap. <laughs> then we're going to repeat the course. Then wave your hands. He said, my bride's like the sun. If nobody claps, if nobody sings, she's coming up. <laughs> Woo! Holy Ghost and fire! Let's me and you dance. Come on, let's dance. Come on. You ain't ashamed, are you? You ain't ashamed, are you? You ain't ashamed, are you? You ain't ashamed. Woo! Hey, hey, hey. hey. You don't know what? That's what happened on Pentecost. That's what happened on Pentecost. We don't understand Pentecost. Has huh? anybody got a bottle almost empty of water? Because I'm going to pour it out. Oh, yeah. See? Here's what we got to have it doing. Uh, come here, son. Let me pray for you. Y'all think Pentecost just happened one time? No. He said, cold, dude. I'm going to see if you got the real, son. He said, in the last days, what am I going to do? I hate your cheese. I'm going to pour. I hate your cheese. Hey, it's still pouring. 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 It's still pouring, and I'm still drinking. <laughs> he said, uh, if you want this water I give you, you can't get it out of the well. <laughs> well, I can't preach on that. Let's go a little further. Man, y'all wasn't kidding. Y'all really having a revival, ain't you? <laughs> now, he said... My dove, my beloved, my undefiled ain't like all them other churches. Huh? You don't have to import a preacher and don't have to have a, a choir leader that went to seminary. Huh? And you don't have to tell somebody when to clap. She's like the sun. She's coming up whether you like it or not. She's coming up. It might embarrass you. <laughs> it might show you up but it's coming up. Now, I don't know if I can take all this. Let's go a little farther. <laughs> she looketh forth as the morning, fair as the moon. Now, back to worship. She not only has this ordained, predestinated purpose that cannot be denied. Am I preaching, David? You can't hold her down. She is so powerful, you cannot hope, because she's got my spirit, see? The grave couldn't hold me down, and the grave ain't going to hold her down. What you mean you can't dance? What's holding you down? You got the resurrection in you. 
Uh, yeah, my Bible says greater is he that's. <laughs> I'm a believer. <laughs> now watch. Fair as the moon with all this power that cannot be held down. What's your name, Bilton? Hunter. Hunter. Uh, that's close enough. Amen. <laughs> with all this power, the moon is defined as a submissive glory. Come on. Come on. The moon speaks of romance. Ooh, she's powerful, but she submits to me and reflects my glory. Anybody in here want to dance? I mean, I, I feel like dancing. It said the old man will dance with the virgin. I don't know if we got any virgins left or not, but I feel like dancing. Oh, yeah, get on your toes. Powerful as a sun. You got something in you that's greater, that lights the whole world, that cannot be extinguished. And you got something in you that submits to the greater glory. And you reflect by your submission the beauty. He said, I want you to adorn the gospel. Not with diamonds. Not with gold. But by submission. He said, I'll beautify, I will beautify the meek with salvation, with my presence. Whew. Goodness. Praise God. Hallelujah. I don't believe I can take any more. <laughs> His prayer was, Father, make them, the glory is being one. Not feeling His Spirit, but being filled with His Spirit. How, how do you do that, Brother Butch? You submit. You surrender. Now, now let me tell you now, beloved, what manner of love you didn't choose me I chose you the father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called sons now sons come out of his loins chosen in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy without blame before him in love Now, uh, y'all know what now he is up. Huh? <laughs> I don't know what you are right now. I'm a son of God. Amen. You just shook hands with the son of God. And I'm not asking you if you feel anything. I know you feel something. <laughs> y'all hear me preaching? Now we started talking about marriage. Now remember? But right now you're a son. Now, I believe I, I talked about this down at, down at your place, David. I know I did. I'm going to remind you. When I was a little boy, the only kind of store they had was a company store. No Kroger's, no Walmart. Some of y'all would have died. <laughs> If you went shopping, you just <laughs> walked down the road a little piece there. You didn't have to have a car or credit card or anything. <laughs> Man, that's <was> awesome. <laughs> didn't get any expected bills in the mail. <laughs> the company store had everything. Stoves and, well, not everything y'all want, but everything I needed. Flour and meal. And when I was a little boy, barefooted and had a string holding my britches up, 
And I'd go down there to the company store when I could uh, just barely see over the counter. And that old guy, big guy with that apron on, he'd come up and say, boy, boy, what do you want? I said, I want some of that candy over there. You know what he'd say? Who's your daddy? Are y'all listening real close? Now, because my daddy was down in the mines working, there was some benefits. But because of my immaturity, they were limited. My daddy draw a big payday. But I got just a few pieces of candy. Because of my immaturity. He said, son, I can't give it all to you. You're crazy. Yeah, you're crazy. If you think I'm giving it all to you. Come on, brother. Y'all hear me preaching? Yes. Come on. Now, there was nine of us. I know there's some more of y'all. But there's nine of us. And my mommy go down to the company store. One in her belly and one on her hip and two or three on her dress tail. Huh? And she walk up to the counter he said, what do you want, ma'am? She said, I, I want the payday. I didn't work a day, but I get it all. <laughs> why? I'm going to tell you why. You listen here. David, we're satisfied too easy. The devil will trick you with a blessing. He'll give you a blessing and you'll quit pressing. Well, he just give me that. He'll give you a blessing and you ain't got no more burden. Y'all listening real close now. Now remember your sons and a son is limited. Why? I served daddy out of fear. I didn't love daddy. Huh? I was all the time getting whippings. I sure didn't love him. Mean to me, make me go out in zero weather and cut wood. Go out to an old slate dump and dig cold bone out of there. Huh? I said, he don't love me. He don't love me. I'm going to run away. But I had nowhere to go. <laughs> we just poor. People down the road poor than we were. Y'all don't know about that. Well, glory, I'm going somewhere. Can y'all wait on me? Because I'll be back. Huh? Now, now Listen. Remember, the sons are limited. They serve God out of fear. But the bride is unlimited because she serves the man out of love. Mama had cardboard in her shoes. Huh? Old ragged dress on. And she said, I want them mining boots over there for my man. Come on. Come on. Huh? My sister just told you about serving others. That's mama. That's the bride. Daddy said, I can trust her with all of it. huh? Because she loves me. And she's going to do my will. She's going to please me. I know she needs a dress, but she's going to buy me some boots first. Huh? What about you? This is a selfish generation. I pray for me. Huh? I pray for my kids. I pray for my grandkids. Huh? I'm preaching now. God! Huh? The lands before them. The herdsmen argue. Huh? Abraham said, come here, son. Come here, Lot. He said, look out there, Lot. Take what you want, son. Because whatever I get, I'm blessed. <laughs> the best ain't always the blessed. Wait till you get the rest. <laughs> Woo! Now, y'all know where we are now. The bride gets it all. Because she's committed. 
And you're afraid to commit to church. Huh? Well, you don't understand. Uh, it snowed. You know, Brother Spurry, we, we need to, I told our people, I, I want y'all to write some stuff and put it on the walls. Huh? We rode the church in the back of a one-ton state truck Come on. Come on. with smoke rolling up, wrapped up in blankets. Spare tar? What's that? You have a flat, you get out and jack her up, buddy. Take that tire part right there and patch it. Pump it back up. Put that baby on and go on to church. The saints would get to the truck early. They didn't want to lose their spot. Uh, hungry. Thirsty. Come through the door, Brother Sperry. Have an old flat top guitar and about two songs. There wasn't no strings left. Ooh, they kept on dancing anyway. Yeah. Casting out devils anyway. Yeah. Healing the sick anyway. Yeah. Reaching in the stove, getting the fire. Yeah. Oh, y'all talk to me now. Yeah. My wife sings real, real, real. He's so real to me. Yeah. Bless the Lord and forget not all his benefits. Somebody needs you to know who you are. Huh? Somebody needs to know you to know what God done for you so you can help them. Oh, the building's falling apart now. Helen. Who's got my glasses? Now, now listen, you know where we are now. The son, he, he, he's, he's got some benefits. He's got a place to sleep. he got a plate at the table, huh? He just can't help anybody. But, but mama, she committed. The son's scared. huh? Daddy beat the devil out of me. Now listen. For as a young man marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. Did y'all hear that? Come on. He said, I birthed you out of my loins. You're bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Now I I want you to join to me in covenant. He that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne. Ooh, glory, glory. Now, now watch. I'm almost there. Y'all ready to dance? I'm going to sing a song. As the bridegroom, do you know you can make Jesus rejoice? <laughs> you make him rejoice, rejoice by your commitment. As the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall thy God, your God, rejoice over you. I don't know what you come to do. I, I, I'm like Joshua. As for me and my house, uh, I want to make a testimony right here. We're going to serve the Lord. I got my mind made up. I'm my foot on a rock. I got sweet heaven. Uh, and my food been born again. Uh, I'm a new creature uh, filled with his spirit. Uh, walking in faith. Uh, pleasing God. Uh, doing the will of God. Uh, allowing the glory of God to flow. Now, I don't get many requests, but I got this one. And I'm going to sing. And y'all look out because it's hard to tell what's going to happen. I'm serious, Larry. Huh? I hear the wind blowing. I hear the sound of going in the mulberry trees. Mm -hmm. The clouds moving, the clouds moving, it's, we got to move. We're moving, moving. By the word of God. I said he's moving, moving. By the word of God. I said the wind blowing. By the word of God. I said the wind blowing. By the word of God. I feel the rain falling. By 
the word of God. Is the spirit calling? By the word of God. Is Jesus talking? It's the word of God. Is he leave me walking? By the word of God. Uh, Jesus talking? By the word of God. I said the leave me walking? By the word of God. I said the wind blowing? It's the word of God. I said the spirit flowing? It's the word Danced. Did, did he dance when they turned the organ on? Did he dance when they hit the guitar? When he seen the ark. When you see, when you see Jesus, you're going to take your outer garment off. I'm going to pray for you. Come on. Just stand right there. I'm going to march around you. Praise him. See, it's not impossible. It's not too hard for God. It's not too hard for God. You're his son. You're his son. You're his child. You're his child. Yeah, back on your side. tonight. I feel the booster. Somebody come up here and help me dance. Well, he healed my body. By the word of God. I said he saved my soul. By the word of God. I said I got my healing. By the word of God. Oh, I God saved by the word of God, washed in the blood by the word of God, Holy Ghost filled word of God, holy, holy by the word of God. I'm living holy by the word of God. I'm a new creation by the word of God. Got a brand new spirit by the word of God. I'm going to give you my spirit. Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want it? You're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need it like the Bible said. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. Gonna need it like the Bible said. 
Moses had it. Moses had it. Moses had it like the Bible. Take it from that old time religion. Oh, yeah. That old time religion. Yes, he had it. That old time deliverer. Oh, he had it. That old time power. That old time power. Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want it like the Bible said? Do you want it? something here how, how many knows he dwells in praise yeah 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 he lives in praise you, you want to find somebody where do you go to the house he lives in praise now if you really need him how many times do you knock let me tell you something if I go by here and the sun's shining and it's a beautiful day and I got all my youngins with me and I see the pastor and Larry in here talking and I knock on the door and they don't answer, mm -hmm. I said, well, I'll see them later. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on. Come on. But if I go by and my car breaks down uh -huh. Come on. and it's below zero Come on. and I got my grandbabies in there and I see them in here, I ain't going to quit. I'm desperate. I'm, uh, you desperate? You desperate? Now I'm gonna ask you: If they praise God on the day of Pentecost, let's put it this way: If they praise Diana for two hours, I wonder what had happened if we praise Him for two minutes. I wonder if we close our eyes and give him our best praise, our best sacrifice, heart. He said, whatever your hands find to do, do it with your might. I wonder if we close our eyes and with all our might uh, begin to glorify and magnify him for about two minutes uh, and let this place be shaken uh, with the power of God. Go ahead. Glory!
Hallelujah.